Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I finally got a product in that was on back order for a little while and that is the Rugged Armor Pro for the Apple Watch Ultra. If you've seen uh, my channel, I've done the uh, reviews on the regular Rugged Armor and also the Spigen ThinFit 360. So this is the actual one that I usually rock for all my watches, uh, such as this one here for my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And this is because this one comes with built-in straps compared to the regular Rugged Armor, which does not. So we are going to take a look at this uh, guy here and see what we think. So let's get it. Amazon was a little rough on the packaging this time. Let's get it opened up, see what we got in the box. Pretty sure it's probably just going to be, good lord, uh, just be the band. Oh, there's two stickers here. Pretty classic Spigen box right here. There we go, we got it in there. That is all that's in there, it is the band and some plastic. All right, and there it is. There is the band itself. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is the Rugged Armor Pro. Um, as you can tell here, it is pretty darn rugged. Let's see, I got the front here. Let's take a look at the side, right side. Looks like we got some knobbies in there that's gonna try to protect that digital crown. Uh, got the button for the side button. A little bit of carbon fiber there here on the bottom we got words shock resistant and a little bit of Spigen logo action going on there here we got some more knobbies and that's probably going to protect this um, button here the action button much speaker holes mic holes mic holes this watch does have a ton of mics on it and here at the top rugged armor and some more carbon fiber so, good looking. Uh, I really like the way Spigen's bands look. Um, I think they're they're pretty good looking, and I think they make the watch look pretty cool. So, I tell you what, let's go ahead and get the watch in here real quick. And we'll take a look at what it looks like on. And let's see. First things first, let's see how hard it is going to be putting it in here. So, you want a watch case like this to be easy to take on and off because... I don't know. You don't want to wear this all the time, I'm assuming. Uh, so you want to be able to switch it out as easily. Wow, and that was super easy. Hold on, did you see that? Yep. Super, super simple. And there it is. Uh, wow, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Look at that. I like that. Let's get this on here. And there we go. That is it right there. Look at that. Ooh, man. Yeah. Yeah, take a look at that. That looks super, super sharp. I really like the way that looks. Let's see what it looks like here on the side. Looks like that mic hole is filling up pretty good. Uh, yeah, definitely got some protection. And, oh, yeah, that's good right there. This is going to be really good to keep you from accidentally pressing that darn uh, digital crown and bringing up Siri. We got that right there. Looks like it lines up good. Another speaker hole. On this side, there's really not much to see because it covers everything. So we'll test out all these buttons and stuff once we get it on the wrist. And let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's get that on the wrist and see what it looks like. Now, I really like the built-in band. I like the speaking. They got this big, chunky, single, single hole bands here. Nice metal uh, clasp here, good pin. And the follower keeper right here, uh, it always is really good. It locks in there, keeps your keeps it moving, keeps it from moving around. Uh, I've always really liked speaking bands; they do a really good job with that. So that's what it looks like on. Yeah, that that is sharp. That looks good. I think this is the this is the, the ticket here. I really like the way that looks. Look at the way it goes over here on the side, over here on the side here. And it, it goes really well. Doesn't give you a lot of gap right there. Yeah, that looks good. Um, yeah. 
gives it, I mean, it's a big watch, so it makes it even look bigger and chunkier, but it's not as big as like the Unicorn Beetle one that I reviewed recently. That was pretty good size, but it is bigger than just the rugged armor, as you can tell there. Put that up next to it. Uh, it is a little bit bigger, but like I said, this is a case uh, without the straps, so you got to use your own straps. This looked really good on it, too, if you want to take a look at that video. Uh, but you can tell this is a lot more rugged. Like, see how much bigger uh, these stick out compared to right here? Like, this this was almost pretty flush with the the button right there, I remember, during the review. And this one sticks out more, for sure, so... If you're, you know, if you're putting up, you know, hitting something against that right there, you can see there's plenty of space there. So, yeah, that is going to be really nice during a workout. If you're wearing straps or if you're doing this kind of stuff all the time, that's really good. So let's take a look here at uh, the touchscreen, see how it works. Okay, that's not a problem there. Not a problem there. And doesn't look like side to side is going to be a problem. Fantastic. Yep. No problem. Okay, let's take a look. Scroll. Oh yeah, good to go. The uh, 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 speaking uh, case for the Ultra, I mean the regular uh, Apple Watch. This is for the Seven. The way it was designed around the digital crown there, it caught it and it didn't spin that good. It was kind of a bummer. But as you can see here, they've rectified that. It's wide open, and yeah, it rolls nice and good. Pushes no problem. Uh, side button. Oh, yeah, that's nice and clicky. Can you hear that? Nice and clicky. I like that. Uh, okay, let's try the uh, action button. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that feels really good. Really, really good. I really like that. I like that uh, not squishy or anything. So that is really good. And if you didn't notice, I, one thing that I had a hard time with on the Ultra is pressing this darn action button and end up pressing either the crown button or the side button but with this big honker on here i just naturally grabbed it right there and pressed in and no problems at all so that is definitely a plus to having a case uh like this on there um because you get to yeah that is good i really like that looks really nice excellent uh let's see what um like the round version here, you can take a look at the difference between uh, the Galaxy Watch Pro uh, 5 Pro here uh, with the round version of this watch. Um, looks pretty good. They're both great. They both look great. They're both great bands. This is really nice, though. I am definitely going to be using this one and not this one because I just like everything the way it looks with the band built in. That is super sharp. I know I keep saying that. So let's take a look. Real quick at the back of this, uh, that nice ceramic back on that Ultra, I really enjoy that. Uh, even though you never see it, it still looks good every time I look at it. But it fits in there pretty well, uh, but again, mostly just friction. It doesn't really go over the top too much, so you should have no issues with your sensors and should be pretty good. The materials on this are pretty standard Spigen. It's kind of a softer... Um, it's actually like a little mat inside here. I kind of like that. I don't remember that being on the the last one, but maybe it was on the last one. Anyways, it's kind of a softer, but not soft. So it's not like silicone soft. It is a little bit harder for plastic, uh, but I've always found them super comfortable. So I've never had a, uh, any kind of problems with that. Uh, but I have heard some people, you know, find them a little uncomfortable because they do don't give as much as say like, a, you know, the silicone band that comes with one of these removal real quick because it needs to come out easily and usually i just push it opposite of the button and yep just pops right out of there no problem you got your watch nice heavy apple watch ultra and let's see we can put it right right back in there and so that is oh yeah see that is super easy i really like that uh they did a great great job on that this is not too bad of a price it's uh usual that seems like it's pretty standard price uh, if you look at here, I got this on Amazon. It is $25. I think that's a couple dollars more than I think uh, what I'm used to. But still, I think I think that is totally worth $25. If you uh, have a need for a case and you're wondering, you know, this is the Ultra. It's titanium. It's sapphire. All that good stuff. Uh, it still scratches and can get pretty mangled. 
uh, if you're hitting hard stuff. So, you know, if you have a, a certain kind of job, uh, construction or working on cars or you're a rock climber and you know you're going to be jamming your wrist into stuff, I highly recommend getting some kind of cover on it because this titanium will scratch and it'll look like not great, right? So it just won't look good after a certain period of time, which is always a bummer. Uh, you want your nice uh, $800 watch to look good for as long as it can. So for $25, and you see how easy uh, on and off that is, I think these are totally worth it to be able to pop one of these on when you need to. Uh, and this one looks super, super sharp. It really makes the watch look good with that carbon fiber on both sides. Big chunky button. Uh, really like it. Looks good. Only bad part about Spigen um, is they only they only make these in black, uh, which is kind of a drag. I wish they made uh, slightly different colors, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. And uh, it looks fantastic. So that, folks, is all I have for you today. Thanks for staying to the end, and I will see you on the next one.